Hi friends and welcome back to Happy Oat Home. I, in today's video, which is long overdue, I am going to be talking about how to choose the watercolor of your pool. If you are building a pool and you are confused and stressing about what watercolor to choose, this video will hopefully help you narrow down your choices. I get so many comments over Instagram, YouTube about the type of watercolor that we chose um, and I know how stressful it is and I know with so many people building pools out there I know you are all having the same issue so I'm hoping to break it down a little bit and give you some good information to help you ease the decision a little bit. So pool watercolors have changed a lot over the past couple decades. Homeowners now have a wide variety of color options from which to choose, ranging from light blue to almost black. The pool's finish is also a very important aspect to the overall look of a pool, and finishes come in a wide range of options. I'll discuss the pool finish I chose for our pool later on in this video. But before that, I do want you to please check out my video where I discuss everything you need to know about pool finishes so that you can make an informed decision about your pool build. And I will link it here. Um, but for now, I wanna focus on watercolor. There are so many decisions that go into building a beautiful custom gunite pool. From choosing what type of pool best suits you, whether you choose a fiberglass, a vinyl liner, or a gunite, which is what we chose, and to selecting waterline tile, the options are endless. I do also have a video out there on how to select the waterline tile, and in case you are stressing about that decision too, you can see over um, under our coping, you can see that we chose a dark tile, and I do have a whole video about that, so I invite you to check that out if you are wanting to learn more on how to choose waterline tile. But choosing watercolor is no different. There are a variety of shades from which to select, and the decision can be overwhelming. Whether you're building a new pool or refinishing an existing one, there are a lot of decisions that need to be made. Let's start by discussing the two primary watercolors of a swimming pool, which are blue and green. The shades of blue and green are determined by many factors. The main determining factor for watercolor is the background dye in the finish. If you want green water, the finish should be green, brown, tan, or black. If you want blue water, the finish should be white, blue, or gray. I'm putting some pictures up of some pool finishes, and I borrowed these samples from a tile store. They are from Diamond Bright, one of the colored plaster lines offered by select pool builders. Diamond Bright has a variety of colors, ranging from basic colors to a blend of colors. The watercolor series listed above is a combination of colors by Diamond Bright that gives more of a custom color for those wanting a wider variety of shades within a color. This is the series my pool builder was offering at the time and is a good choice if you are looking for a blend of colors. Deciding on the color palette is an important first step in the look you want in your pool. Do you want to see blue or green? Do you want a lighter or a darker shade? Once you decide which shade you want, then selecting a finish will be easier. There are many factors that go into determining the color of water besides the pool dye plaster. Pool water looks considerably different on sunny days than it does on overcast days. Other factors like yards that are heavily shaded by existing structures or trees will make pool water appear darker. The colors surrounding the pool also affect the water color at times, reflecting off the surface of the water. The depth of the pool can also affect the water color. The deeper the pool, the deeper the color. 
For example, if you select a white plaster finish, you'll notice that the blue is darker at the deepest end than it is at the shallow end. Here's an example right here. If you can see how dark blue it is over on the deeper end, and here I go to the shallow end, which is the Baja ledge, how much lighter it is, right? It's the same plaster, but the watercolor is gonna appear different because it's shallow. Spas will also have a different color water than the pool because of the depth. Here is our spa, which you can see where the finish looks very different on the bottom. It looks very different on the seat ledge and in the pool, but it is the same finish, so it is gonna appear different. Another factor that can impact watercolor is water movement. Pools with waterfalls or fountains will appear more vivid due to the light prisms created by the moving water. This won't totally change the color of the water, but it rather adds depth and color variation as the water moves around the pool. Ours is not drastically affected because we have this little area in between and the spa is not directly overflowing on the pool. That would be, there would be more movement in our pool if that were the case, but we have this little spillover area. So we do not get as much of color variation for our waterfall that I was referring to. But if you have a spa that goes directly into the pool, you'll see more movement in the water. Okay, so I'm gonna talk a little bit about here about um, what our pool finish is. So these are again colored plasters with a river rock finish. So that is what we chose for our pool. We chose a river rock finish in one of these colors. Can you all guess which color we chose? Again, dividing them up, you know, the very lightest ones, a white background will give you that very pretty light blue color. And you see in a lot of California homes, you see a lot of white plaster bottoms. Very, very basic, but very pretty. And it gives you that vibrant blue. Again, super simple, and all it is is white. And here you go into a little bit of the greens. Um, I didn't want in particularly any green water, so I was trying to stay away from the greens. What I wanted was a really pretty blue, to dark blue to almost black. So this one up here is, I was so close to choosing that one and that is the darkest one and that would have given, you know, the black bottom look. But I was getting a little worried about it. You know, I love the look of dark bottoms and being in Northern Virginia, you know, it's very, um, it's a great area for, you know, a darker pool finish. But I was worried about it being a little bit too dark because I love blue pools, right? I love looking at a pool and seeing it blue. So I was a little concerned about having it too dark. And you know what? I stayed, you know, in this row right here, and I'll tell you which one I chose. I stayed in the row of the blues and I feel like I got everything because at certain times of the day, the pool does look, you know, in the fall or in the evening, it does look black and it does give a look of the black opal over there on the top right hand corner. So I'm glad I chose the one I did. So can you all decide any idea in this line which we chose? I am going to turn these over and show you the names on the back of them. Um, so you can you can see what they are. Okay, so here we are. I have turned them over, revealed all the colors, and again, over here on the right side, this one being the darkest of emerald black. Um, Harbor Gray, I have a friend who did theirs in Harbor Gray, and it's very, very pretty. Um, it, and it is more of like a bluish gray color. I have a friend that did Baja Sand, and that is beautiful as well. Has maybe a tad more green to it. Um, Lucayan Luc Luc Blue, I was very tempted to do because it was so blue and it was gonna give me that really 
punch of blue that I was looking for and kind of longing for. But then I was like, oh my gosh, well, what if it's like too unnatural looking? You know, it's just like too blue. So then I got worried about that one. And then I was like, well, Lagoon, that's pretty. That's gray. Um, again, maybe not enough of a blue. So this is where I settled. I settled on blue opal. And I feel like it has been just the perfect color for us. So it is a river rock finish. It is called blue opal. And that is what it looks like. It, I, again, I feel like it has just been perfect here. It's very sunny today. So hope you're getting um, a good visual on what it looks like because Actually, it's hard for me to even look in the screen as I'm filming this on my iPhone. It is hard for me to, um, to see what's going on. But anyway, so this is the blue opal with the river rock finish. We absolutely love it. And I have been very, very happy with it. Again, it is this choice here. So if you talk to your pool builder or you go to um, a pool store, local pool store in your area, they should be able to show you samples of these. And you know, and to bring it home and just to kind of play with them, they suggest putting them in the sink, you know, filling up a bucket or something and putting the, you know, the sample in the bottom and seeing what it looks like. Okay, I didn't find that actually very helpful. <laughs> I actually did it and I'm like, um, okay, didn't really help a lot, but I don't know. They suggest doing that, just playing around with it and seeing the different looks. But again, it's going to appear very different, you know, in the deeper end, the darker end, if it's light, if it's day, is it night? Is it overcast? Is it bright? It's going to appear very different. So I don't know if that's really going to do much, but so these are the ones, wanted to show you those. Um, I hope this has been helpful for you. Um, I've been very happy with my choice. I get questions about it all the time and I'm glad we chose the one that we did. And I feel like it's a good variety where it gives me the blue that I want, but it's not too dark. It's not a black bottom. It's not too green. You know, it's just a good combination of everything. But I do need to say that there are certain things that are going to affect the color of your water. Besides that, you know, if you have like a lot of algae in your water, you know, if there is a lot of algae in it and the chemicals are not properly main maintained, which has happened. Yes, it has. It, you know, when algae gets in there and, um, you know, you guys aren't on top of it or your cleaners, your pool cleaners are not on top of it, um, it it's ugly and it doesn't look good and it last year we had it all over the bottom it was really gross and we had a lot of problems with it last year so it made the pool look very green other things you know if you fill up the pool with well water which we have well water so when you know the water gets a little bit low and you have to you know fill it up a couple inches the metal in the water can also turn it a, a tinge of green so, you know, then you're um, either you or, you know, if you have a service doing it, then they need to come and, you know, put chemicals in it to even the pH of everything out. So there's so many things that can affect it. But when it looks great and when all the colors are properly maintained, it's a beautiful shade of dark blue. And I'm very happy with it. But like I said, there have been many times where it has looked miserable because of issues with the water and issues with algae and just things not, not going well. Okay, um, please check out the waterline tile. You can see the waterline tile. Um, I have a whole video on how to choose that if you are interested in learning more about that. Um, but I hope you found this helpful. Please give it a thumbs up like, subscribe, um, and I wish you all the best of luck on your pool build. I know it's hard and I know it's stressful and I get so many panicked messages on Instagram. Don't stress about it. I hope this has helped. And you know what? Any color you choose, I think we stress about it too much. Any color you choose is going to be beautiful. 
I think you're gonna absolutely love. I don't think there are so many variations that it's gonna be so drastic from what you envision. So I think you're gonna be happy with anything you chose, but I hope I did help narrow down the choices a little bit in terms of like a green, a light blue, a medium blue, or a dark blue. All right, friends, great talking with you again. Um, I will see you soon on the next video. All right, bye.